Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. So, I'm doing something I've never done before. And no, that isn't wash. I have washed before. Is it your first bath? No, it's not my first bath. Okay, that's better. I am streaming on Facebook. I am streaming on Twitter. Not Twitter. YouTube. So I'm streaming on Facebook. I'm streaming on Twitter live. And I'm also making the um, podcast as well. <laughs> yeah. So hey. Welcome to Let Me Boy You To Sleep. My name's Jason Newland. And... Um, my website is jasonnewland.com. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Yes. So, Raymond is uh, watching on Facebook. Now, I don't know if anyone's going to is watching on YouTube. The picture isn't brilliant on the YouTube. I'm using my um, iPad for the YouTube video. Um, it doesn't allow me to do it on a phone. Um, but, you know, I can do it on a laptop, but it means putting in certain codes and stuff like that. So, iPad... I imagine if the lighting was a bit better in the room, the picture would be better on the stream. But, nevertheless, oh, I'm just so excited. Ooh, I feel all giddy and semi. I've got a semi on. No, I haven't got a semi on. So, I moved the microphone a bit closer to where I am because I'm, I'm sitting back. Um, I realise on, it's just weird, looking at myself, <gasps> I haven't made a Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast for, well, it's only been about four days, I've had a few people comment and say, when are you making a new recording, can you do one, like, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I suppose it's, I try and do them regularly, but I've been really busy working on my website, working on updating all the podcast episodes of music, blah, de blah, blah, and trust me, it's boring for me to do, and I'll be glad when it's over and done with, so I can just get on with making content, making podcasts, maybe making videos, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to be bothering with videos, but at the moment, well, I am today, doing a live one, doing a live stream. So if anybody wants to come on and say hello, I will talk to you. I will say hello to you. Here and now. I suppose what I could do is share the Facebook page so that people know that I'm on here. Yeah. Share the Facebook page. Linda says, hi, Jason. Hi, Linda. How you doing? So that's on Facebook. Hi, Linda. Um... Linda, I'm also on YouTube. Can you believe it? <gasps> Live on YouTube. Let me see what it sounds like. Live broadcast. Oh, look. Right, I'm going to listen. It's not very loud. It's not very loud. Oh. There's two people watching. Oh, 
Well, it's echo in there. It's not very loud. It's not very loud. It's not very loud. See, the picture on YouTube ain't too bad, you know. All things considered, it's a heck of a better picture than I've got on my screen. I've got to get rid of that. I've got to get rid of that. In fact, no, I will leave it on there because if there's any messages, I can read them. So if you're on YouTube, say hello, just like Linda did on Facebook. So I'm going to turn the volume down. So if I've got any top chat, welcome to chat. I'm going to put hi all. Yeah, God, this is brilliant. Okay, it's not brilliant, but it's it's brilliant for me. It's brilliant. I'm just surprised that the actual quality of the picture on YouTube is much better. And I could have had it sideways, so it's all learning. Once it's... In fact, let me see if I can do that now. If it changes it. If it changes it. Orientation is blocked. Okay, nope. Sorry, everyone. Ooh. It will not allow it. It was very unhappy with me trying to turn it. So I could have had it like that to start with. I could have had it in landscape, apparently. But yeah, so that's all right. The picture on the actual iPad is just really a bit grainy. But on YouTube, it's looking okay. So Facebook, so there you go. I'm a bit distracted by all of this. Hopefully the sound's okay on Facebook. Um... If I continue to do, say if I continue to do face uh, YouTube streams, what I will do is get another microphone. <laughs> I'll have another one in my face. I'll have it a little bit lower down maybe so it's just below the thing pointing at me. Just so it's a better quality sound. Um, so yeah, that should be okay. And considering, really, I'm so close to the iPad, it's kind of weird that on YouTube it's the picture's a lot further away. Anyway, um, Molly says, hi, Jason. Hi, Molly. Hi. So that's on Facebook. I'm not sure who's watching on YouTube, but you're not said hello yet, unless it's me. Yeah, it's me. I'm the only one watching on YouTube. <laughs> Hi, Molly. How you doing? Hope your baby's well. Hope you're well. Molly says, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right. You know, up and down. You know, <laughs> bipolar and all that. Um... been working on I'm not sure Molly or anyone else just watching if you know that um, I I'm gonna move this a little bit closer a little bit more to me the YouTube one so I'm not quite as uh, out of the way Um. Molly says, hopes more ups and downs. Yeah, it changes, you know. It's. I think the one thing I've got. <sighs> Other than an addiction to Coke. Coca Cola. One thing I've got going for me. Or one thing that's useful to me is this stuff because every day I wake up I've always got something um, oh, I'm going to move that out there sorry 
I'm continuously moving stuff around. I've always got something to get out of bed for. Does that make sense? So, I, yeah, purposeful. You're ahead of me. I've got a reason to get out of bed. It doesn't mean I do get out of bed. and doesn't mean that I can tap into that reason to get out of bed. But, ultimately, there's always something for me to do. I haven't really got a reason or an excuse to sit here and say, I'm bored, I've got nothing to do. Because the website on its own is it's a full-time job, if I wanted it to be. Because it's never finished, it's continuously always growing. It's, excuse me, it's like a TARDIS. You know, you might it might look like just a, well, you go on there, it's like, well, there's nothing much here. There's thousands of recordings on there all kind of grouped and, you know, hidden. <laughs> not really hidden, not really. Um, I'm looking forward, Molly, and uh, any whoever else is listening. Um, excuse me a second. Uh, Linda, if you're still here. I do love Linda's surname, Marvel. I just, just because of the, you know, Superhero films. Um, I, I'm not sure what this year's gonna hold. You know, as far as content wise, because although I'm, I've not been making. Hi, Linda. Linda's still here. That's just because the the phone. Obviously, the phone isn't that big. So on the screen. I can only see a certain amount a certain amount of um comments. I suppose to be fair, if I just opened Facebook up, then I'd actually be able to see, wouldn't I? So I've got YouTube opened up. If I open Facebook up, then I'll be able to see um messages. Yeah, that wasn't that complicated, was it? Oh, oh. Oop, I'll turn that off. Don't want it to play. Oh, that's it. Yeah, good. So, once I've finished doing the uploading the pot, you know, the podcast with the music, and I know it annoys some people, but. Those that get annoyed with like, well, we don't want 10 hour recordings. We don't want that. I kind of have to point, well, I don't have to point it out, but on my stats, <laughs> my statistics, mm -hmm. the most popular recordings I have are 10 hours long. They're the most, they're the most listened to recordings on my podcasts. That's why I give them attention. Uh, that's the only reason, really, because uh, as far as, you know, making 10-hour recordings, it's a lot of time, uploading time is quite a long time, editing. Also, you know, it's just, realistically, if someone listens to a 10-hour recording, that's just one recording to listen to, isn't it? If someone listens to a 10 minute one or a 20 minute one, they might listen to a few in a day, maybe. So I'd probably have more, logically, I'd have more people, or the, the statistics would be higher if I didn't have really long recordings. I think that makes sense. It made sense in my head as I said it, but doesn't mean it made sense to the ears that heard it. Once that stuff's out of the way, and I'm still working on it, and it's so, so, so tedious to do it, but once it's done, I will then get back to making three, four, five recordings a day. Uh, you know, the daily, daily hypnosis ones, the... 
this this one's the deep sleep whisper i mean the deep sleep whisper recordings are so popular i mean it's kind of ridiculous that i'm not making new ones because they are every day even though i haven't made a new recording a new deep sleep whisper recording for since probably november i'm still getting like yesterday, 1,394 downloads. I'm still getting like, yeah, usually over a 1,000 on that podcast. I've not released anything new for ages. I just, just want to say, I reached my 2 million on one of my podcasts it's the relax and sleep, what is it called? Relaxation, hypnosis, of stress, anxiety and panic attacks. 2,075,000. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, thank you. I can hear, I can hear the flowers being made to chuck at me. Thank you. So my first podcast to reach 2 million. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um. Leslie, hi Leslie, says hi Jason, quality of this is fantastic, well done, thank you, um, I'd like to take, I'd like to take complete responsibility, but it's probably more to do with the equipment really, isn't it, but, um, you know how long it took me to figure out how to stream with a decent sound and a decent picture, um, this is for the Facebook stream. The YouTube stream, sound isn't brilliant. I'm not that far away, but what I'll do, if I do continue to do YouTube streams, I will look at potentially getting another microphone, as I said earlier, and have that set up a bit better. Uh, Linda says, way to go. Thank you, Linda. Molly says, awesome, good work. Thanks, Molly. I love you guys. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Oh, oh, Linda says, did you finally get rid of your old squeaky chair? Yes, I did. Um, you can't see it because it's over there, the, the one I've got now. And I can't just move the, the camera because I've got all this stuff in front of me and here and there. I've literally got a phone, iPad another iPad, two microphones, all the stuff are connected to it, and the laptop, all set up for this thing that I'm doing right now. So I didn't move anything. I didn't move myself. Okay, I end up banging stuff over. But um, the old squeaky chair, I got rid of it. Basically what happened is, it got to the point where the back of it was loose and I fell over one day. I leant back on it and it fell over backwards and I got trapped. And literally my head was trapped between the chair and the bookcase and my legs were in the air, like wiggling around. And um, I'm actually still there. I'm still trapped. So what I had to do is... It wasn't any, you know, I had to get rid of it in the end. And my friend got a new settee and he gave me his, one of his settees, which is basically like a two-seater version of the one I already had. But this is much sturdier. It was so heavy. Heaviest settee I've ever, ever had in my life. Um, but it's very sturdy as comfortable if not more comfortable than the other one um, this this without going into being excitable and stuff to buy that settee would cost probably a couple of thousand pounds if it was new it's like leather yeah it's leather but it's two seaters he also had a three seater which was the same and both the two seaters um, I've got a a flappy bit 
you know, at the front flaps up. And I only use one side. So I use the right hand side. The left hand side I use to store biscuits and cakes. And you, I wonder why I'm fat. So yeah. But there you go. Because <laughs> um, I don't want anyone sitting next to me. See, if anyone comes up here, I don't want them looking at that seat and thinking, oh, I'll sit down next to Jason and we'll chat. No, I don't want anyone sitting near me. Uh, so I make sure that, that seat, and I've all got stuff in front of it as well, like a little table. And then if, just in case they might want to move that table, I've got another um, big wooden table in front of thing in front of that. And then there's another chair over there. So people sit over there. I don't, I don't want anyone sitting down thinking, oh, I, I watch TV. No, I can't have that. I have to keep away. I don't want them sitting next to me. That's bad, isn't it? Uh, Molly says you put a lot of time into making everything top notch. Thanks, Molly. Um, yeah, that was my ambition. I think at the beginning of this, well, not the beginning of this, of this year, but um, Linda's just said, what about the bedroom shed? Hi, Carol. Um, okay. I'll tell you about the shed. For those that don't know about the shed, let me tell you about the shed in a second. Just quickly, um... I've been working on getting the audio quality. That was the first thing I wanted to do because I haven't really been making YouTube videos, not really put any effort into it since about 2015. And even then it was marginal, you know, uh, ever since about 2013, that's kind of when I stopped when I got rid of my YouTube channel, the one that was doing quite well, I kind of gave up on YouTube a bit because I destroyed my life's work kind of um but I was I was already I was all, all podcasting all those years as well so I kind of changed my focus onto podcasting rather than to making videos and uh this year last year rather well it's not last year over the last few years I've been trying to find ways to make the sound better and people were complaining that the volume was too low and stuff like that. And I was trying to find a way to make it better. Um, right, I've got more questions coming. I will come to all of the questions, Leslie, as well, what you just wrote, and Linda. Um, any questions on YouTube, if you want to say hi? Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Oh, I have got a question. Sorry, crazy animal... FRK, <laughs> I like the videos you made long ago talking while you laid in bed. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know what happened to those videos because I used to do video myself. I think I lost most. I lost them, I think. There might still be a few that I've got um, on a hard drive somewhere. I did some live stuff. I'm pretty sure I, I broadcasted some live stuff. So those that are w watching on Facebook that don't know about this, I used to do these in bed with Jason or fall asleep in bed with Jason or something. Uh, and I just lie down in bed, look at the camera, which was usually a phone, although I, I sometimes I did have an actual camcorder at times. And I would just talk and it'd be a an insomnia sleep relaxation recording video and then what i would do i would extract the audio and use that as the podcast um which is how i did a lot of the podcasts back in them days although i sometimes did do just recordings without video anyway the re <laughs> in answer to your question crazy animal frk i'm not going to say the word um, I just kept falling asleep. I kept falling asleep. And it's very hard because I did what I did them, and I kept literally um, 
I did some even without video and I would just end up snoring or I'd record them without going live no, not a live stream but just record and I'd end up snoring and I just just I just can't I can't lay down and talk without falling asleep I used to be able to do that and maybe it's because I'm just getting old now and I struggle <laughs> as soon as I lay down I'm just falling asleep whatever and I can fall asleep in my chair now sometimes I get up in the morning and it's a little bit early for me but I've woken up so I get up check the stats check you know on the computers and I wake up three hours later and I just fall asleep in my chair and hey so that's why I hope that's a good answer right other questions I've got to answer about the bedroom shed now people on YouTube might not know about this shed although I did post some videos I think a few years back I got a shed and the whole point of the shed was to have a recording studio in my bedroom it, it, there wasn't anywhere else it could have gone to have a recording studio basically where I could go in there I thought a shed would cut down the noise of outside stuff because when I'm in here I do have quite a bit of soundproofing on the walls actually you can see some behind me just over there behind the punch bag it's all soundproofing I was soundproofing all on that wall over there as well a little bit over there and over that wall and that wall as well so there's a fair bit of soundproofing in here um, I hi Kathleen on Facebook Cra crazy animal says I can imagine I would fall right asleep too oh no my battery's running out on my laptop hold two seconds oh no 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 oh no okay there we go huh <sighs> Um, uh, yeah, it's difficult. I just found it difficult to because it's it's not just I'm falling asleep. You could say, well, it's, what's this? What's the issue? But I'm thinking. I have to think at the same time and talk. So my brain has to work. Now, the longer I make a, a relaxation session. Or, you know, a sleep recording, the slower my brain goes, the slower, I guess, my pulse goes, and the more relaxed I become, because I do what I say on the recording, on the video, or the podcast, I'm doing it as I'm talking about it, whether it's a relaxation session, or whether it's a pain relief, I'm doing it at the same time, anyway, um, that's why I just, because I'm, I'm doing the relaxation session. And if I'm saying counting down from 20 to 1, I'm counting down. Which means I'm just zonking out. So, I think it'd probably be better if someone was filming me. And then they could sort of stop it when I'd gone bye bye like a little child. <laughs> like that, and they could just like stop the recording or stop the live broadcast um but anyway so yeah oh guess what we got now then now then now then um your favorite uncle herbert hubert now then now then now then okay it was only a matter of time before sebastian joined another live broadcast now Sebastian will be joining. <laughs> Sebastian has been like a like a co-host at times with uh, some of my recordings over the years, some of my broadcasts. So, uh, so the bread. Okay, the bedroom shed. Get back to that. What happened with the bedroom shed is I got it put up. I thought it was a good idea. It was expensive. It cost me about £100 just to get it put up because I, I need the help. Uh, so that was uh, a waste of time and money. And 
it was no good. First of all, in the summer, it was so hot. I literally could hardly breathe in there. And also, even after a year, it was still creaking. You know how you expect something made of wood to sort of creak a little bit as it settles, you know? Um, still creaking. So when I was trying to make a... And I was using it more for the whisper recordings because that was a time when I need the, the least background sound. And it just didn't work. Sebastian says, What a time to do a stream, Uncle. What will the neighbours say? I'm talking quietly. I'm not talking loudly. It's not like I'm I've got I'm doing a live. You know, I've got microphones very close to my mouth. So even if I whisper, you can still hear me. No one's gonna hear me. No one's no neighbor's gonna hear what I'm saying. Um because it's quiet. I hope. Yeah, it's one forty-five in the morning. It is a weird time, but hey, I know that a lot of people, this is quite a good time for some people. Um, I love the fact that I'm able to talk to people on Facebook and YouTube. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it like that. It's brilliant. Um, okay, so basically what I did with the shed is... It ended up just being Andre's toilet. Not just his toilet, but his play. He liked going in there. He liked going in there, going to sleep. He had a part, because, you know, it was six foot by five. So part of it was a toilet, and part of it was just him sleeping. And, you know, just, because he, he liked to hide in there. He liked to hide underneath as well, because he knew I couldn't get to him. He liked to go to sleep where he knew I couldn't grab him. And give him cuddles and kisses. Because he did not like being disturbed when he was asleep. He's very grumpy like that. Really, seriously, very grumpy. Um, which brings on to the next question from Leslie. Jason, I hope it's okay to ask you if you thought about getting another furry companion. Um, I do, I think about it. I think about it, but I probably not, probably not, actually, probably not, probably not going to, uh, because this laptop's making a bit of a buzzing sound, so sorry if you can hear a buzzing I didn't realise the... It's it's really hard to get everything prepared. I mean, if I move this microphone over here, maybe you won't be able to hear the buzzing. But it's only slight buzzing. It's a very, very slight. Um, I can't replace him, can I? I can't replace Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Out on Facebook, I can't replace the little bugger. Um, yeah, I don't know really what to say. I thought about getting maybe a dog, but I want to go traveling. I want to. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go to Thailand's one of the places I'd like to go to for a few reasons couple of those reasons is Muay Thai and uh, like kickboxing I'd like to go there go to the gyms get some training get a bit fitter lose some weight get you know whatever another reason is because it's a Buddhist country and being a Buddhist I'd like to go and um, visit the temples and maybe meditate at the temples and of course there's the lady boys I thought I'd say it before Sebastian did. <laughs> um, Sebastian says, yes, and you should... You know, so I said that wasn't... I didn't say it's just a joke. 
Um, yes, and you should do more stuff. I should do this more often, plus the outdoor walks. Really good stuff. Anyone else like the outdoor walks? Jason chats when I just walk through the field. It's a little bit boring. I think it would be more interesting to watch if I was going to different places. Not that it's supposed to be interesting. It's supposed to be relaxing. And it's just me just chatting about me. My favourite subject, of course. And then Hubert uh, says, there won't be no other Andre. He literally was a gift. Yeah. Did you did you see his uh, thing? Give me two seconds. Oh. Shit. That is not the amount of noise I wanted to make. At two o'clock in the morning. But you know what? Got new neighbours downstairs and they've been banging their front door all week. So if they get like one bit of noise from me, they're lucky. Because I, I got headphones, I try and listen to music and when I watch telly in the evening I put the headphones on so I don't disturb anyone this is Andre's urn his ashes are in there and before before Sebastian says oh it's going to be mixed with other people I actually paid extra so that he got cremated separately from the other animals because they give you two options you can have you can add ashes, which basically is all the animals being done together. Or you can have indoor. I don't even want to talk about it. There you go. That's Andre. Not quite as much fun, is he, in a box? So, yeah. I just, uh. Hmm. My little boy. Yeah, there'll never be another one. He was a gift. And, you know, you could do... You could do... What was that? Oh, there's other messages that I've not seen. Sorry. Leslie says you could do stand-up jokes in the country walks. I am sure it would work. In the country walks. Oh, got, got yeah, sorry. Um... I just, you know I me, mean, I just say whatever's Anita's list watching and Sarah, hi. Uh, on YouTube, I've got two people listening or watching, so thank you. Um, and on Facebook, I mean, I don't know if I did this at a regular time every day, well, five days a week or whatever, would you think people would watch? Would they want to watch? I mean, I know I'm going to do the um, the podcast anyway, and I don't know. I just think it's, I just quite like, I don't know why it is, it's probably because it's new, it's a novelty, but the idea of being able to do both or all three, like, to be able to make the podcast, I could have this podcast stream live as well, the audio. Um, to have it broadcasting live on YouTube, hi. And also to be on Facebook Live. I just, just cool. Uh, Sarah says, I love him. I have three of those downstairs. Yeah, they are just... The beautiful ferrets are just beautiful. I should be asleep, work tomorrow, but hubby is snoring, says Sarah. Can you help with that? Smother him, maybe? Yeah. If you just got to get a pillow. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that. Um, I'm a snorer. I remember I dated this woman and we went out for a date. I... I she used to go to the Buddhist center, so I kind of knew her. 
like as friends like just got on with her she was nice and then I didn't see her for ages and ages and bumped into her and we sort of I gave her my number she gave me her number and we went out for a drink uh, and then the drink led to going out for a meal um, and it wasn't supposed to be anything romantic but it kind of turned into kind of a romantic kind of thing but I remember during that meal or during the drink she was I knew straight away that we were not going to be compatible because her last boyfriend was a snorer and she had to get rid of him now I'm the biggest snorer in the world now I have to be with someone if I'm the ideal woman really I need to be with someone that would sleep through anything that sounds weird but it doesn't supposed to be weird <laughs> um, you know to, to be able to sleep without me waking her up with my <laughs> I know it might have sounded like a, an impression of my Prime Minister, but it wasn't. <laughs> you know, but also ideally, um, the lady, the right lady, would have no sense of smell and have uh, failing eyesight as well, probably. So, all those things combined, <laughs> I might be able to get a girlfriend. So I knew straight away, but it didn't stop me dating her because I liked her. Sarah's can you hear uh, Karen's list watching? Hi Karen on Facebook. So what we got? Crazy animal, F R K. You need to send a message because Hubert's sending. There won't be another. Uh, wait till you hear about the latest romantic. Ooh, Sebastian has a girlfriend. Is it a girlfriend, boyfriend, lady boy? Best of both worlds, what? See, I won't I won't date a lady a lady boy. And so I say it's not a lady boy, it's trans no, in Thailand they call themselves lady boys. So you can't argue what someone calls themselves, can you? Um I don't want to date with someone that's more endowed than me. That's most women anyway. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. It's because I have no willy. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm making fun of myself. Only in your head. Sarah says, yeah, he's farting too. You know what, Sarah? There's a little secret. I'm going to let you into a little secret. Women fart too. <laughs> when you're asleep. And the f I know I shouldn't tell you this. So look, it's been a secret kept by men for years. Don't ever tell anyone. I'm letting everyone know because, you know, I'm probably going to be single forever. So I might as well let you all know. It's all to do with the... Because men don't... We don't hold them in. We don't save them up. Like it's going to be currency one day. We don't... You know, it's... So when we relax, there might be the odd few in there. When a woman relaxes and falls asleep and relaxes, there's thousands waiting to get out. <laughs> it's like a traffic jam. I'm just making up. Of course, women have never farted ever. So, uh, Sebastian says, I was in love with a gal. She showed interest and I let her escape. When you say you let her escape, do you mean you forgot to lock the cage? I'm waiting for a response for that. He's, uh, I've not met Sebastian. I've spoken to him on video and I've done recordings, done videos with him and stuff. Spoken to him on uh online as well I've done you know but it's all struck me as a bit of a kidnapper i just I, <laughs> it does it's, it gives i kind of get that feeling that he probably does has kidnapped someone is that wrong to say that out loud 
<laughs> oh, I love it. This message is held for review. Wow. You know what? Because he wrote down, nah, so dumb, she worked at me dentist. Because wrote, he wrote down the word dumb, Facebook held it. No, YouTube held it for review. So I'm going to show it. And then she changed jobs and her name, probably, and address. And she's gone into hiding. So changed her identity. She now lives, lives in Sweden. Like so many of the women that you fall in love with, Sebastian. <laughs> they go into witness protection. <laughs> uh, when I was young, I remember one one girl I dated when I was probably in my late teens she decided to no longer be with men and another girl I dated decided to join a nunnery didn't fill me with a lot of um, positivity towards my dating prowess if I'm honest what's he saying now for one solid year I've creeped Crypt her on Facebook. Couldn't write to her. I'm too much of a coward. And then I said it. There it is. I said it. You know what, Sebastian and what whoever's watching, listen. I've come to realise over the years that rejection, no matter how awful it is, and it is among the worst things in the world. I think emotionally. It's not as bad as regret. Not as bad as regret. And I didn't realise that until I got old. Became an old fart. Looking back on my life. And I have so many things I regret. So many things. And you know, it's so good people say, Oh, you regrets. I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. Well... So many. And a lot of it is to do with women. And me not... Me being very slow. You know, it's, it's probably too late now, but there was a time when I was... physically up to the challenge of... Um, you know... Oink, oink, you know... You know, that... Dating, dating, and um, there was this woman, right? I say woman, girl, she was young, she was 22, 20, I don't know, whatever, she was young. And I just first time I saw her, she worked in this coffee shop, and this is when I was doing my university course. So she worked in this coffee shop and I could not take my eyes off of her. And I just fell for her because she was so, to me, like, perfect. Now, I didn't tell her. I was a bit, I was very aware of age difference. Now, I don't care about age difference, but I know that a lot of other people do. Society does. And women seem to care about it more than men. Um, which I think makes men scared. Because there's like... Who cares? I think it doesn't matter if you're, if you're 80 or 18. Man or woman, whatever. What, what does it... Whose business is it? But I've worked with a lot of women who... And I'm generalising. I have to generalise. But especially ones with daughters... And the idea of her 22-year-old daughter dating a, a man my age, you know, this is when I was in my early 40s, that would make me the most disgusting man alive. And I just... But then, in a way, 
you're never going to see your daughter or your your boy as an adult, really, are you? Even when they're in their fifties, they're still going to be your little boy or your little girl. So yeah, I don't know, but I don't care about age, but I clearly do because I never told her how I thought about her, how I felt. I tried to talk to her a few times. Once I did, and I made her laugh. Um, I didn't even have to fall over and hurt myself. She just laughed at what I said. That's always the the last resort. If I can't make a, someone laugh, I'll, you know, accidentally injure myself, and that that always gets the best, biggest laugh ever. Nice broken bones, nothing like that to, to get the the laughter flowing. And I didn't tell her. And then one day she wasn't working there anymore. She'd moved on. And I never told her that I wanted to bang her. No, I never told her that I loved her. And now there's someone, a woman started working in a place that I go. I'm going to be very careful because it's very local to where I live. What well, is um, no big seller kidnap? Oh God, shut up, Sebastian. <laughs> He's written so much stuff. I can't read it all out. Oh, what is it? I'm a broken record these days. Always deflated my decisions. Blah, 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 blah. St. James. No, uh, uh, St. James. If you want to read what he said, go to YouTube. I can't be bothered to read it out. It's so much of it. But thank you for contributing. Um, there's this lady moved. She started working at somewhere. Where I go into regularly. And not because she's there, just because that's where I go. And honestly, if I could like put together my perfect Sarah says I was going to ask you about the woman you're taking a shine to is she still there have I mentioned her blimey I forget what I talk about Sarah I honestly do I talk such rubbish a lot of the time I forget that I actually do mention real stuff as well um oh okay I've already told you okay so that was Sarah on Facebook. Um, Sebastian's on YouTube, so I've got both going. This is this is cool, and I've got a podcast going, and I'm fifty three minutes in, so I need to bring this to an end soon. <laughs> um, well, I'll quickly say what happened. Basically, I fell. She's like, I've probably said it before. I've had a tick sheet. I don't have a tick sheet. I don't walk around with a tick sheet of what I look for in a woman, you know. Has both eyes. Tick, 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 you know. But she is, and I got to know her a little bit, got chatting to her, and she's so perfect for me. That's all I'm going to say. But I thought, you know what, instead of going in there for years and years and years and years and years and just not knowing anything about her, but just like, you know, I just thought, no, I'm not doing that anymore. So I just said to her, are you married? She's, and I just came out of it, are you married? She said, uh, no, I'm too young to be married. I didn't, she said something, I didn't listen to what she said after that. Um, well, I listened a little bit, and I said, have you got a boyfriend? She said, yeah, I've been with someone for 10 years. And then she said some other stuff after that, but I didn't listen. Soon she said she's got a boyfriend. I, my ears just stopped. <sighs> Leslie said, "Go for it. Take the bull by the horns." That's what I did, Leslie. I did. I, I didn't ask her out because I'm not just going to say, "Do you want to go out with me?" Because what that does, it does two potential things and one definite thing. It's what I just said. Will you go out with me? Because she's got a boyfriend that I didn't know, she'd have, so I'd have even made her feel uncomfortable, which I don't really want to do. Or she'll get a little buzz out of being asked out. 
And I don't want to do that either. I don't want, because I'm going to feel absolutely crap. I don't want her feeling good from coming out and me feeling crap and embarrassing myself. You know, I don't, I've been told that in the past. A couple of women have said that to me. Or, I like being asked out because it gives me a buzz. It gives me a self-esteem. I said, yeah, but you got a boyfriend or you're married. Yeah, but it's still nice to be asked out because it's like, it's nice to feel attractive and yeah, but think about that person. <laughs> what about the person that's just you just rejected? How do you think they're feeling? Now, that's not her fault, but I just just try and like, yeah, you might feel nice, but I bet that other person feels absolutely awful. And but I realize that awful feeling is nothing compared to the regret twenty years later. Of having not done anything. Not that I haven't done anything. But just the situations. I mean there was this. At my leaving bash at one of my jobs. The the lady. That I really got on with. She was about 10 years younger than me. So I was about. She was about 21. I was about 31. Of course a lot of people. Well, you're too old. You're too old, you nonce. No, no. Just she was an adult, and I was an adult, and she liked me. She kept giving hints. Her birthday party, when she was twenty, um, she got me up dancing, and she put my hands on her bum, and she she took my hands and put them. She was a lot stronger than me, <laughs> and I had no choice, and. I kind of, I still didn't take that as a hint. Because I don't know, some people, that's just a natural way of dancing. I don't know. And another time she came into the DJ booth and was asking me all about things I like to do with when I'm in a romantic situation. And she was telling me about things she liked to do, if you know what I mean x-rated stuff that i'm not going to mention on this family show and um again i didn't take that as a hint should have took it as a hint but i was at work i was not going to do anything to jeopardize what i had and especially as i respected her and i you know i mean i'm not going to sort of just what if i did like oh she must like me and I, even just if I just went to hold her hand and she's like, wait a minute, I don't want you holding my hand. You know, this is, and no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable. So, and then on the, on the leaving do, I can't, I probably have said exactly what she told me in the early days of these, let me bore you to sleep, but I'm not going to say it now. She basically sat down next to me and she said, um, yeah, she sat down next to me because I was. This is my last day of ever being there. That was finishing, and I was moving to be near my nan because she'd broke her hips or her hip, and I got a new job so I could be closer to her. And she sat down and she said, "I've got uh, you. You love blah blah, and I've got blah blah." That's what she said. So you might think, well, that doesn't sound very... <laughs> that's not very clear, clear communication. What the hell's a blah, blah? Is that an English thing? <laughs> um, let's say horns. Take, take it by the bull, by the horns. You like... Yeah, anyway, she, she, that's what she said. You like blah, blah, and I've got blah, blah. Two different words, by the way. Um... Even then, I didn't take the obvious hint that she was interested. And this is 20, 20 years ago. It's a long time ago now. Ridiculous. I mean, she might have been, I might have spent the last 20 years with her. Because we both liked each other. But, you know, it's just it's one of the regrets I got. Um, 
But then I think one of the regrets I don't have is, at least I don't have the regret of quitting this. I don't have the regrets of not ever having done anything with the the hypnosis training that I got or the counseling training because I've incorporated that stuff into some of my recordings over the years not into not with the let me boy to sleep but some of the other stuff I've done I've incorporated my learnings I hope a little bit at least so at least I haven't got that I haven't got the regrets but there's so many regrets so now I don't want to do that anymore I don't want to have any I don't want to create new regrets for the future of course, there's always going to be things I'm doing now that perhaps I would be better off not doing. You know, maybe health-wise, you know, I'd be better off not drinking Coke or eating chocolate, especially with high blood pressure, high cholesterol perhaps, I think I've got as well. Um, and I do feel the results of that. I do feel like a bit weird sometimes. Um And I'm working towards it. I am working towards it. But it's very hard to give up drinking Coke. Mm. When you love it. It's very hard. When you don't really have much vices. I don't even have sex as a vice, you know. I don't have... I don't go out, I don't socialise, I don't have any fun, I don't drink alcohol, hardly ever. Um, the only time I drink alcohol now, although I did have a little bit of wine with my friend the other day, but that was literally like a tiny, what well, that's about 10 inches, I had about 10 inches of, um, 10 inches of wine in a glass so I that was a bit pointless drinking that you know wasn't going to get me drunk the last time I enjoyed alcohol when I was in Cornwall went to the pub had a pint <laughs> and it was oh I was standing outside the pub it was a beautiful day this was still Everyone was wearing, you know, st still locked down or whatever, pretty much. Uh, we were allowed to travel, but that was it. Everything was pretty much, there was a lot of stuff closed. The pub was closing at eight in the evening or night. It was like ridiculous. But I went in there, I was sitting, standing outside, and that was the best pint of lager. It was Foster's. It was cold and it was beautiful. <laughs> It was absolutely perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't drink alcohol hardly ever, but I enjoyed that. Now, I can't be bothered with drinking every day, sitting in there, because it'd be very easy for me to go back to my old ways of drinking every day, every night. And I don't want to do that. I've done it. Did it for years and years and years. Um, it didn't do me any good. And I don't, I don't want to do it again. But when I go out, if I go into a pub or if I go for, yeah, I will drink. It's just I don't go out. I mean, yeah. Sarah says, I'm 54 and so boring now. My only vice is hot chocolate with a splash of Baileys. Ah, I used to be so much fun. Um, health comes first now. Oh, and I vape. Is that a vice? Yeah, probably. Um, not to me, but I don't know. Some people in my class it is a vice. It depends. If you if you're vaping, I mean, I'm saying the game, not my judgment. But if you're vaping to stop smoking then what you're doing is actually 
vaping is far from a vice. It's actually you're using it as a tool to get yourself healthy. Um, if you're vaping, just vaping, vaping, then I don't know. I don't, it's not to me, I do what you want, I mean, I mean, it's not officially, I mean, cigarettes aren't really a vice, are they? Yep, ex-smoker. I mean, I've vaped, I've smoked, I've vaped, I've not smoked, I've smoked again, I've vaped. Um, when I had gastroenteritis, I was vaping. And I couldn't vape afterwards. Couldn't do it. I felt ill. It's weird. Uh, Sebastian, so I don't want to make YouTube feel like you're being left out. Still have the regret of still having... You still have to live with the regret of still having me blocked and banned from Facebook. I didn't ban you from Facebook. I didn't do anything to ban you from Facebook, Sebastian. What are you want about? I didn't have you blocked. I've never ever reported anything you've said ever, and I really should have done, but I never have. So get that out of your little head if you got one. I had a proper old bender on Christmas. Tell your boy it was not worth it. The weed was great. Oi, you were weed in the garden, were you? I've never had anyone blocked on YouTube, on Facebook. I've blocked people on Facebook, but I've never reported any of my friends on Facebook ever. Banned from your Facebook profile. Yeah, I've blocked you loads of times, Sebastian. So I didn't want you on there. <laughs> is, is this this kind of the best way to stop people from being on you? But then you block me as well. So, you know, we block each other. I'm not you good. The thing is, I'll tell everyone, Sebastian, although he's my mate, he's got a habit of writing stuff on my profile that was absolutely... I did block you, I need to unblock you. You're not, you're not blocked on my Facebook page. You're really not. Cock <laughs> He's just written a word that YouTube is blocked, but I'm going to let it allow it. Error, try again. It will not allow it. Sorry. Oh, there you go. It's been re message retracted. YouTube will not allow naughty words posted. Facebook doesn't care. But I... I don't remember... I, don't, I haven't blocked anyone in Facebook for absolutely ages... Unless someone is like really just being horrible, which is really rare, especially as no one can post anything on my Facebook page unless they post underneath a post that I've posted. And why would a friend, why would a Facebook friend post horrible stuff? What would that? What's the point in that? But uh, Sebastian has a habit of writing stuff that's. Uh, other people complain, Sebastian, by the way, if you're listening. Other people on my Facebook page complained about the stuff you were writing. They were sending me messages. <laughs> so, hey. I redacted it. I can write as all the... Anyway. Um... I I spend hardly any time on Facebook. I know obviously I'm on Facebook now doing this, uh, on YouTube doing this. But I don't go on Facebook hardly ever. Um, I don't really have, I, I do have time. It's, I go on there, if I've got messages, I try to reply to messages. But generally, I'm busy doing other stuff and... Um, yeah, I don't really spend much time on there. I mean, it's, yeah, just don't. So if, don't, you're not missing anything, not being on my page, but you can, I don't, 
I mean, you might have been blocked on one of my pages because I've got admins on um, one of my pages. There's an ad. I'm not going to say who, but there's an admin on my Facebook page. Uh, Leslie says, good night, Jason. Thanks live for the live chat. See you soon. Cheers, Leslie. You take care. Bye. Thanks for listening, watching. Liz, uh, what's his name, says, I never write any untrue offensive stuff about you. I enhance the truth. That might be true, but it's not. Um, it's probably time for me to end this live broadcast. Mm. It is. Yes. <sighs> so what I will do is I will watch back the YouTube one because I'm very surprised the picture on YouTube is so good compared to what it's showing on the actual iPad. And I'll listen to the sound of the audio as well. Uh, Sarah says, night, thank you. See you, Sarah. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, everybody, for listening on the podcast as well. Um, this has definitely been a, a different type of podcast episode because uh, Kathleen, thanks, by by Kathleen, to actually have YouTube and Facebook at the same time, being able to talk to people on both. Sebastian says, I am blocked on your personal Facebook profile. Oh, I'll look into it. I won't. <laughs> I really won't. I can't be bothered. But I will be back. I tried to contact you, Sebastian, on... Um, what's that thing that people used to use before Zoom? I forget what it's called. But I tried to contact you on there. I think over Christmas... As we're besties, you know. Um, I'll try and see if you're blocked. If you're blocked, I'll just make sure you are. I'm pretty sure you're not, though. Pretty sure you're not. Right, I'm going to go. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, Skype, that's the one, yeah. Nobody has that installed Skype anymore. I I don't have I've I've not used Zoom really. I think I tested it out once, but I can't be bothered with live video calls unless you're gonna get naked with me. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I laughed there, I'm not even joking. Like my dad that's a weird sentence, isn't it? I'm talking about getting naked and then I was like, and my dad? No. Different sentence. Discord is where it's at. I'm going to have to look into Discord, actually. But I don't know how to use it. I don't even know how to get it. Or anything. Oh, what's that, um... That app that I don't like? WhatsApp. What's, what's crap, I like to call it. Don't like it. But my dad loves it. It's, it's honest like it's his favourite thing. And he tried to call me a video call. Do not actually I missed it. I didn't ignore it, but I missed it. Um I'm not accepting video calls from anyone. No member of my family or friend or anyone unless it's someone that I'm wanting to do a video call with and I'm waiting here in my dressing gown oiling up my nipples you know I'm not I'm not waiting you know holding me bicycle pump I'm not talking on a camera it's rude actually to, to do a, a video call to someone because let's face it you could be on the toilet you could be in a dressing gown um, you could be asleep you could be watching telly 
You could have food all over your mouth, whatever. Now, it doesn't matter if it's just a phone call. You can answer the phone and you could be completely naked with your bum sticking out of the window and the person would not know. You might have something going on with the neighbours, you know, just saying. Now, you can't do that on a video call. So I don't accept video calls. And what I did is I actually deleted WhatsApp after that just for a couple of weeks because it annoyed me. You don't ever send... Don't do that. Some would argue, but it's Christmas Day, Jason. <laughs> he just wants to see your face. He hasn't seen you for two years. <laughs> and that, there is a point to that, but yeah. Don't do video calls. I'll talk to you on the phone. I ain't doing a video call. Because I, you know, I'm not ready for it. I have to get myself... Because look... It takes hours to get myself to look this amazing. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching and listening. Plum, you know what's next? I'm not even joking. The next thing I'm going to be doing is on my other phone, doing Instagram, live on Instagram. Blimey. And imagine if I get another microphone for that one. So I'll have a microphone for the iPad, microphone for the Instagram. So it'll be like four microphones all. That'd be strange. Bloody strange. <laughs> anyway, I'm a gonna go now. Gonna, 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 gonna go now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much now. Take care of yourselves. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. And I will speak to you another time. Lots of love. Bye. So I'm going to turn each one off. So I'm going to finish, turn off the one on 